Hello everybody, and welcome back to Ultimate General Civil War. In the last episode, we went through the first day of the Battle of Richmond, and we are now on the second day of the Battle of Richmond. <sighs> so, let's see what we got here. Battle of Richmond. Yesterday we, went ha we had one of our fiercest fights. We lost many good soldiers that followed us from the start of the war. If we could, we would avoid this battle, which apparently give, uh, gives to the Confederates the chance to destroy our army, as the city's defenses are very strong. Nevertheless, we also have a chance to end the war today, the Civil War today, that gives our men courage to continue the attack. With the sacrifice of thousands of our soldiers, we secured the eastern defensive perimeter of Richmond. We now prepare for our final assault, which might yield the final victory for the Union. And we have 8 Corps, 13 Division, 46 Brigades, 20,226 Soldiers, and 190 Guns, versus our 3 Corps, 11 Divisions, 54 Brigades, 73,264 Soldiers, 192 Guns. We didn't lose a single gun yesterday. All right. Let's start. Yesterday we succeeded in securing the eastern uh, eastern in, yeah, entrenchments by penetrating and capturing the command post located here. All the way south. Continuing to Newbridge Road. And ending at Williamsburg Road, we also captured the fort that com uh, commanded this strategic area. Yes, we did, that little star fort there. Today we are going to attack the east side of Richmond, and this is not going to be easy. Five forts and strong trenches, uh, and strong trench networks surround the city. Two forts are dominating the southeastern defenses. Be those two right there. One really big one right there. Powerful Star Fort is guarding the eastern route to Richmond. Another Confederate Fort is located further north. And lastly, this one is blocking the north side of the city. Our army is going to begin attack from this direction. When the Confederates begin shifting their forces to the north, we will start a simultaneous attack from the east. And the southeast. These two should be easy. We can flank the forces inside and get rid of them. We have to progressively capture all the forts. This will allow us to proceed to the town and force the remaining rebels to surrender. General, we are ready to attack. At your command. By your command. This force must be this fort must be captured in order to secure our advance from the north. In order, in about two hours, the rest of our army will attack simultaneously from all sides. Full core. Full core. Okay. Gibbon. Wagner. Carr. Marshall. There, and an Elder, Tremble, Nelson. We'll have some holding forces on the side here with the Madmen and Sasha and Bennett. Alton and Franklin, and then we'll also have Longbeard kind of in this area here. These guys will come across, blow through these defenses, swing around, and start hitting from the behind here. And also clearing these trenches as they go. Harris. Hobson, what do you got? Yeah, you've got your parrots. 
Finnegan's got the howitzers, so he'll be there. And Averson's got his 20 pounders, he'll be forward. Okay. Then we've got our cavalry, which won't be getting much use in this fight. If I could select this second one. My god, what's going on? Oh, I can't select two. Okay, that's bleh. I was an idiot. Uh, we'll have them come back over here. And the law will deploy majority over here with these cannons to support the bombardment because we'll keep the fort pinned down with these. And then Frederick will go in with the rest of the boys here. Let's start. What do we see? Oh yeah, there's the stuff from the fort. Let's get Longbeard up there, see what he sees. How much do we outnumber them? Oh my god. Do they even have enough to man the defenses here? Alright, I want all cannons to target Fry. I'm not seeing anything. Gibbon, do you have an opening? Nelson, come in reserve. Tremble, you know what to do. This is open. This is open. Nelson through, through now, 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 now. Race on through. Oh, I don't need. I don't want to. I don't want to know who made that mistake. Frederick up. Yep, there's Anderson. He was coming to deal with this. We are already through. Alright, race on through. Harrison's taken a couple of deaths, actually. Lost a cannon. Can't afford to lose those 20 pounders. Here, Nelson there, Tremble there. Let's get you in these trees, Everson. I don't want you losing any more guns. Made it through yesterday without losing a single gun. I want to keep that going. Well, I mean, we can't keep it going now, but I want to minimize it as much as possible. Frederick, you know what to do. Push this attack, boys. Push it. out of the unit. Finnegan, I want you to push up so you can get those shots off. Keep firing on Fry. I want those guns gone. Okay. Keep going. Get the cavalry out here as well. 
This is a very successful attack so far, given the fact that they didn't defend their line in any way. So hold where you're at right there. I want you to start putting howitzer shells down on them. There we go. There's the cannon emplacements in the rear. Oh, Anderson did not choose that position correctly. That was very poor. You're not getting hit much anymore. You're taking 10 casualties. A couple. They're firing a fry. That's what we need. Alright, keep pushing, boys. Keep pushing. cannons. Greg's gonna try and charge the line. It's not a good choice for him. Starting to abandon their position on the fort. I think they've realized that they're surrounded. Took them a while. I won't judge though. I've I've been dense before. Franklin, move up at the double. They've abandoned their forts. Just a good number of them have. Far, you know what to do. charge in with our cavalry and deal with them. Nelson Gibbon. Got across here. Hey. Okay. There. Oh yeah, Benning's not doing so hot down here. Benning broke. Get rid of him. Alright, we've got them surrounded. Alright, and we're hitting there. We're hitting their guns. But actually, we're hitting everything. Let's be honest here. We're hitting everything. Let's keep pushing forward. Williams did not last long there. And in reserve. Keep walking them forward. Kill! 
take the fort sooner or later. Oh yeah, only a little bit over 2,000 left. Get into the fort. Take it. They aren't fighting for it anymore. Captured North Fort. Nice. Alright, cavalry, charge in there. Deal with them. the entirety of their force down here. One elder down here to put some volleys into these guys. And we got 15 minutes left before the end of the battle. Or before the, uh, the rest of the fighting happens. William surrendered. <laughs> surrendered. Lowe surrendered. I'm gonna get all of you out of here then. Oh, I didn't mean that. Williams, get you out of there. Lowe, get you out of there. And Williams, get you out of there. And there we go! <laughs> Commence attack from the east! <laughs> Just in time for everyone to be dead. Eastern attack's gonna be tricky because all we have is Second Corps. Majority of our brigades can now attack the east side of the town. Don't hesitate. Bring your men forward. I'm gonna hesitate a little bit. Our main target is uh, are the forts. Concentrate all your firepower near the forts. This one. And this powerful star fort. Proceed with caution. Well, Second Corps is not dealing with these. Hey! First Corps that can, though. First Corps already through the entire line and killed everyone. <laughs> so why don't we have uh, Trimble... Well, yeah, why don't we have Trimble, Elder, Gibbon, Nelson, and Carr. And deploy themselves along that way. Wagner, Marshall, Sansa... Uh, Sansa... Not Sansa. Sasha. My god. Play you guys right around there. We'll have Bennett take that fort. These three kind of just play right along there. Lemon, move up here. And let's also get all of these cannons and everything deployed. Kind of right here. Then for over here, let's see. We'll wait. We'll wait with our main forces. Oh, wow. There's not a lot left of the Confederate military at this point. I'm going to assume most of them are down south. Or in the town. I'm going to assume that. The Star Fort's going to be a problem. Oh, hey, look, it's all the cannons. Love these three brigades move up here. 
Let's see what we see if we go down this way. Maybe we'll see other cannons. What are they doing? Might try and get closer to put canister in us. Everson, Stark, Perry, Webb, Russell, Hazen, Minty, and Elder. Booster up front, and then hunt. It's not a crew. Come on. Put volleys into him. There we go. Okay, big semicircle around them. Let's have Walton and these guys kind of move up, see what they see for the enemy here. I don't think we'll see much. That's what I think. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Anything around here at the double? Anything at all? If not, then we'll just kind of sweep down south here. and start encircling these forts, getting our cannons in place. Screw it around here. Because right now all I'm seeing is they've got 2,800 forces, and that does not leave a lot of room for them to have anything, really. To sweep around. We're going around in the back of this fort. Eris up, up, uh, and Iverson. Point you right up front. Yeah, they got nothing. They got nothing. Well, good for us, not for them. Once we get our cannons set up, we can start counter-battering fire. That seems to be the majority of what they have, is just cannons right now. Yeah, they got 90. Which is annoying, but we should be fine. Then we'll start pushing north with these guys. We have Johnson and Weeks take a shot at Lightfoot. Maybe get him to back off from where he is right now. This one's going to be the toughie. And there we go. Cannons are where they need to be. Rest are inbound. Alright, Alder. These guys are finally starting to get off the map. Madmen are done with what they need to do. These guys can... I don't know. Just have you deploy over here. Let's get Brewster and Hunt. Kind of right there. Let's 
see what we see over here. Three hundred, two hundred, yeah, not a lot. With all these guns. Okay, light foot started to break. Okay. Start getting these guys up here. Oh yeah, there they are. That's the bulk of their forces right there. Elder broke from probably, yeah, fire coming in from the side. The madmen are in reserve. Not a lot to really comment on here. We're just kind of, it's very methodical taking these forts. Johnson, and then we can start charging in here. These will be the hard ones. Yeah, Archer. Archer's a tough nut, and, this, and so is uh, Hops in here. Alright, got that. And then we reposition. Get all of our guns set up. Right there. Secured Fort Johnson. Nice. Okay, yeah, all these guns. Johnson, then we need Fort Jackson, which is right here. Let's keep everybody kind of close by. Sasha. Madman. Okay. Rooster. Move up. Provide support for these guys. Start providing shots and hitting these guys as much as we can. Get Elder and them up here, Longbeard and Franklin will be tertiary. Okay, Archer's leaving his position, I think, or maybe he just took a lot of casualties, I'm not sure. Okay, and then Wagner there. Sasha there. Walton, Perry. Okay, Archer did leave his position. Hobson left his. 
Alright, deal with these cannons. Less than 2,000 men left to fight. Charge on in. Charge on in. Charge on in. Charge on in. Doing their best. There goes Stark. Wagner's in there. Secured Fort Jackson, apparently. Didn't surprise me. Web broke. Hobson's breaking. Stark's breaking. Come on, boys. Supplies are surrendered. Archers broke. Attack from the south has begun. Okay. Well, while our forces attack Richmond from the north and east, more of your troops are starting to attack from the south, or from south. That one will be easy, once we clear out the trenches to the sides. Actually, no, because we got to deal with this one first, because it'll have infilade fire. We must climb the high ground and storm this fort. And the other next to it. Then the way to Richmond will be open. Okay. We've got that. We've got third core. And looking at this, they have less than 4,000 troops to defend this whole line in both these forts. So I'm going to assume that uh, they are somewhat similar to what we've been dealing with in the other areas here. So we'll move up our best divisions. And our third best. Lee and Ward, we'll put you guys here, and all of our guns will deploy very forward. Start putting fire on those guys, alright. I should probably also order all these guys to go to double time. So we have right now we need Fort Ricketts, Fort Almond, and Richmond. So once we take these forts and we can push into Richmond, we'll have it. Also, I'm surprised we haven't inflicted 90% casualties yet. Maybe there's a whole bunch that we just haven't found that uh, we'll be charging in after we do our, our action today, or like after we move in. Who knows? Well, I guess the game knows, but I don't know. See, if we can push on through here and get the cavalry in, we can take the town and just start wreaking havoc in there. So we're going to put the cavalry over here. Grant will put it over here. And then Webb will go where the, ca the cannons are at. Pleasanton, see what the trenches look like. Are they empty? If they are. Oh, God, guys. I'm not seeing anybody in those trenches. Oh, no, I am. Grood, there he is. Andrew's there. War 
Ward up. Gableton at the double here. Gonna take Groot, or we're gonna try to. Uh, Oil, can you cross? Sharpshooters, can you cross? Get some shots on. Alright. These guys will move up. Along with these boys over here. Wonder if there's anything over here. If there isn't, then that's a great way of getting our skirmishers across behind them, breaking these guys, and then pushing in. Also get our cavalry across. That would be great. We did destroy a good number of their forces yesterday. Let's see what we see with our cavalry and skirmishers. Not seeing anything so far. Artillery is being set up right now. Right there. Come on. Are we clear on this side? It's looking like we're clear. Alright, Haskell across, Pond across, Finnegan across, Porter across. Okay, Grood, Pleasanton, well, Grood's gone. I uh, meant uh, Edelton, Pleasanton, and Ward. Alright, yep, our cavalry's across. Let's go into the town, along with Warren. Go into the town, see what we see. Probably won't be much. Once we deal with this and this... I mean, oop, hit my desk. Uh, once we deal with this uh, one, which I think is Fort Ricketts... Rockets. Yeah, whatever. Uh, once we deal with this one, then we can deal with this one here. And getting behind it. As for cannons, we outnumber their guns by... The a lot. Okay, that was not a good position for Grood. Or no, it's not. There's no R there. So it's, it's Goody, I guess. There was a Grood here, though, wasn't there? There was maybe yesterday. I'm not sure. I thought there was, but I could just be wrong. It wouldn't be the last time... Well, it wouldn't be the first time, and it definitely isn't the last time I'd be wrong. Alright. These dates, these four moving across. Grant, help steady your boys. Yeah, they just broke. They're gone. Cowens, Cox, Hayes, and Goody need to all be taken off of here. Then we can swing around over here. Garrisoning Richmond. <sighs> Let's have these guys move forward just a bit, uncover this area. Have 
the skirmishers on the side here just cover Edelton's flank. Well, Wallace is moving off of his position to try and attack our cannons, it looks like. He's got three brigades he's got to go through. Will he make it? Will he survive a singular volley? He survived, but he's running. Right in the back of this area. The attack continues from all sides. All right. Whew. The rebels are desperately defending to the last man. It's madness to keep attacking. Men fall like flies from rifle fire and cannon shots. But we must continue. Advance. Advance to the city. We're well past this. Meanwhile, the Confederate cavalry has been spotted operating to our flank and poses a real threat to attack us at any time now. Well, we got Bennett here, just in case. Supplies surrendered. I mean, they're... I don't know why we came back up here. It's... They're dead. Rebels are defending. <laughs> okay, that was done. But the Confederates are not giving up their ground. Thousands died, but we must continue the advance. Give them steel. Charge. More Confederate cavalry is threatening uh, our other flank. Their, con uh, their attack is imminent. Brace yourselves. Douglas at the double back here. Ward at the double back here, just in case. Also need Finnegan to fall back to that position at the double. Porter, you're right there. Cavalry. I'll have them come back over here just in case the en enemy cavalry decides to come in. There's no more. <laughs> There's no more melee, guys. Stop playing the sounds. Get Boyle and the sharpshooters over here just to keep threatening these cannons. Alright, well, we got the fort. Okay, broke them. Andrews, come on over. Ward. Now or never. We only got one fort to capture. Uh, the day is ending and soon the battle will be over. We must capture the town and the, uh, and the forts or else we fail. One final charge can bring total victory. March to glory. Oh. Okay. Well, here we go. Uh, well, this is done. Uh, and this is the last of the enemy uh, positions right around here. We've taken the town. So why don't we... Right along there. Not that we really need it. Wallace surrendered? Yes, he did. Get out of here, Wallace. Pleasanton, take that position. Richmond's town militia marches to reinforce the rebels. We must defeat... And we must also defeat them. Okay. Porter, you know what to do. 
Porter, Haskell, and Pond. You know what to do. Right there. These guys at the double. Andrews, I want you to charge into there. Get those cannons. Right from there at the double. Town militia, we got almond. Right there has it an elder. Defeat the town militia. We're already in the town. So it's a little late. Double time at Pleasanton. Time at Lee. Okay, there we go. Let's get our cavalry over here. These guys out here. Okay, ward broke. Come on, Andrews. Needle 10. All right, boys. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. We've inflicted 90% casualties on the enemy. There they are. They had to be close by. Ford, one over there. Same with you. Bennett's still there, so that's good. Weeks and Johnson. Pleasanton's been killed. guys around. Alright. Choose gone. I don't know where Archer's going. Web. Stark. All right, well, we've taken both forts. We've taken everything. Next there. Charge those guys on the wall. with all these guys. The sound bug is really annoying because I don't know whether or not we're actually in close combat with anybody and it's it's really it's really distracting. Come on, hit Archer. on him.
Oh no, they're all right there. Just retreating. Uh, let's get these guys over here and deal with the rest of them. Double time it. Marshall, double time it. <sighs> Marcher's gone. Last one we need to capture is Fort Almond. Godwin's trying to retake those positions. Still haven't inflicted 90% casualties. I'm not sure how. Okay, those guys are gone. <sighs> Deal everything down here? Yes, we did. Victory. Not much of a battle towards the end there. Ulysses S. Grant, Frederick Roach, and William Brewster, first time he's been out in a while, versus Wade Hampton, James Camphor, William Gardner, A. Hill, Perry Beauregard, Richard Anderson, Richard Ewell, James Longstreet, John Gordon. Strength. Union, 80,350 infantry. 3,500 cavalry, 192 guns, versus Confederate, 55,063 infantry, 32,000, or 3,217 cavalry, 358 guns, surprisingly, a lot, actually. Uh, casualties, Union, 21,378 infantry, 2 guns, 849 cavalry, versus the Confederate casualties of 38... Uh, 1,511 infantry, 237 guns. Uh, that's a disparage. That's uh, a lot. Uh, that's a very big difference between the gun losses there. Uh, and uh, 2,218 cavalry with 4,939 missing. Goals, we got everything. Apparently we did not kill 90% of them. Yeah, I can see that. I don't know where the rest of them were, in all honesty. I'm not sure where the, the rest of them were then. Huh. Either way, we captured everything. Units, uh, Sasha got the most, next to Lee, Walton, Pleasanton, Nelson, yeah. Where's their next, uh, first one? Oh, wow. Terry with 600 kills, and that's the, and they are well down there. Awesome. Officers, Carr was wounded. Marshall, Lomax, Harris, Martin, Stark, Russell, Webb, Elder, Walton, Everson, York, Meredith, Ward were all pro uh, pound. Grant were promoted. Pleasanton was killed at the end. Uh, that's, you know, that's really sad, too, because Pleasanton, he wasn't, he's third core, isn't he? Yeah, never mind. I was going to say, I thought he was a second core guy. No, I think I switched him into second core. Yeah, I think. Or was that Andrews? I'm not sure, but either way. That's very sad. Toward the last, uh, the last go, he dies in Richmond. Uh, goods captured a shitload of stuff. Not that it really matters. Twenty-five Napoleons, twenty-eight parrots, eleven ordinances, seven howitzers. Oh, okay. One of our parrot, uh, twenty pounders, we got back. Yeah, that's a lot. 
<sighs> Battle rewards plus thirty five rep. No, nothing else uh, for money and recruits because it's the end of the battle or the end of the war. We got some recruits, but it doesn't matter. Grand victory! Hurrah! The Union has finally prevailed. The Confederate capital was taken and the rebels signed a peace treaty accepting our terms. The brutal civil war that cost the lives of thousands and divided our nation for more than four years is finally over. All Confederate generals have surrendered, including Lee, your greatest adversary. The country will unite again and slavery shall cease to exist in the United States. The Reconstruction era begins that will reform our nation and ensure the Americans will never again uh, that Americans will never again fight Americans. So we got our awards. My story. You were a general that achieved many great victories, respected by both sides for your immense courage, skill and strength. Even though your brave uh, even though your brave actions and tactical decisions cost the lives of thousands of fellow Americans, they were necessary to unite the nation once again. After the war, you were elected mayor of Washington, D.C., beginning a political career that would take you far and wide. Statistics. Total losses. Holy shit. 294,902 infantry. Four, uh, these, are probably, these are probably crew losses. Uh, 4,308 artillery and 10,606 cavalry. Total missing. We never lost soldiers or guns. They never surrendered. Total kills. Holy shit. Total kills. Uh, 535,189 infantry, 35,011 artillery crew, and 19,667 cavalry. And we captured 17,636. So we didn't take any cap. We killed. We didn't, we didn't take them ca uh, captive. Hey, they... Oh, wow. That is... <sighs> Half a, more than half a million that we killed. Huh. Let's go to the main menu here. Tend it out. Okay, guys. Well, that is the end of this series. We fought from the start to the end of this war. Uh, we had, I believe, only one actual defeat, a few draws, and mostly victories. So it's not a perfect... Um, not a perfect record, but pretty good, I would say. Um, that last battle there was interesting. Um, I can see how it at the start, if you if you charge in without really caring, you're gonna screw yourself over in the second half. Also, I was really lucky I rejiggered uh, Third Corps uh, with their brigades around a little bit because that southern fight that happened around the south, like the uh, while the main fight was going on to the north and, and uh, northeast, uh, in the south, that whole action, if I had gone with the regular setup that we had been using, there would have only been one infantry brigade down there, which would have destroyed, uh, which, I mean, would have been destroyed. It would have uh, killed any momentum down there at all. Sorry, I've been talking for an hour. I needed to take a drink. Um... But yeah, I, I had fun with this game. Um, I played it a long... Like I've, I've said before, I played it a long time ago when it was in early access. And, and now that I've played through it, I was only... Uh, I played it back when there was only about a quarter to a half of the actual missions that are currently in the game. Um, so I'm glad that I came back to it to play it. I'm glad I recorded it. Because um, I don't know about you guys, but I really enjoyed this series. Um... I loved naming uh, the few brigades that I was able to name after patrons and kind of see you guys go through there. Longbeard and Sasha uh, going through there. I also loved uh, that we have the the Madmen who weren't uh, Martin's Madmen who weren't actually um, patrons uh, patron names. They just kind of organically got named. I, that's why I like about this game. A lot of organic uh, storytelling can happen from it. But yeah. Um, I'm probably not going to do another playthrough of it as the Confederates, even though I know it's different and has a very different feel to it. Um, you get different rewards. There's uh, You get less troops and money, and it's harder overall, which would be interesting to play. But I am 100% certain that if I did that, um, 
the uh, YouTube copy or not copyright YouTube uh, bot would uh, demonetize it immediately. And I do depend on uh, the monetization of and uh, I do depend on the monetization of these videos to kind of live uh, right now. Uh, maybe if, in the future, if my Patreon grows to the point where I don't really have to care if one of my series is just going to be demonetized, uh, I might go ahead and do that uh, and do a second playthrough. But yeah, um, not much else I can think of. I'm not sure what we're going to do for the next series to replace this one, but uh, I've got some ideas. So keep an eye out for that, and uh, thank you for joining me. If you liked this series, uh, please leave a comment down below. Seriously, uh, tell me what you thought. Uh, you know, hit that like button if you like the series, or just like if you dislike it. Either or, it lets me know. Um, if you uh, want to help support the channel, consider going down below, hitting that subscribe button. It helps support it, uh, as well as taking a look at the description down below, where I have links to my Discord. Uh, I want to try and make that a bigger thing now and start talking on that more, so, you know, come in and join it. Uh, and my Patreon. Uh, which, uh, you know, if you have a dollar or any amount that you can put forward to the Patreon, there are rewards on there. You know, you can get na uh, units named after you. You can get access to a special room in the Patre in my uh, Discord uh, room. All that kind of stuff. Check it out down below. But I will see you guys in the next series. Bye.